Here's how to ask for a date without pressuring her. Now, do you want to ask a girl or a woman on a date? The best thing to do is ask. Now, jump, jump right in and do it. Now, with that said, you may want to think about your approach. Now, if you're not careful, you could unintentionally pressuring her into saying yes. And of course, you want to hear yes, but you want to receive a true yes and not a pressured yes. So how can you ask a woman on a date without pressuring the woman? Well, one thing you can do is flirt. Flirting is one of the best ways to test the waters. Now, if you're in a public establishment like a bar or a sporting event or concert and you want to see if the girl is interested in you, do this before taking the plunge. Flirting is the way to go because you can gauge a reaction. Does she seem interested? Does she flirt back? Is she trying to get away from you? Now, when it comes to flirting, you have many different options. More importantly, put a smile on your face. Flirting will fall flat on his face without a smile. Plus, a friendly smile will make it easier for her to approach you. Also, make eye contact. Whether you approach her for a conversation or flirt from afar, try to lock eyes with her. If you are with a group of friends, separate yourself from the crowd. Go start a conversation with her or wait till she approaches you. Now, strike up a conversation. Now, if you don't have a fear of approaching women, skip the flirting and just start with conversation. Walk up and say you notice her from across the room. Introduce yourself and then she should do the same. Now, when you're having a casual conversation with a girl you just met, start out slow. Ask her if she's having fun. If listening to a band at a bar, ask her what kind of music she likes or so forth. Now, if she's interested, the conversation will take off on its own. Now, once you've made contact with a woman you just met and are still interested, it's time to ask about a date. Now, when you're doing this, casually work it into the conversation. Wait for the perfect opportunity. Did the conversation turn towards favorite movies or music? Now, if so, ask her to attend a concert with you or dinner and a movie. By starting a conversation first, you lessen the nervousness and awkwardness that's often associated with asking a stranger for a date. If you want to ask a woman on a date that you know, like somebody from school or work, it may be just as hard. If you see this woman on a daily basis, you may fear rejection and what happens because of it. But don't let this stop you. But take the roundabout approach. Instead of outright asking for a date, don't use the word. Instead, mention a movie you want to see or a new restaurant you want to try. Casually ask if she would like to join you. To keep pressure off the woman, know that no means no. If you receive a first date rejection, gauge her reaction. Does she seem truly disappointed that she can't attend because she has other plans? If so, give her your phone number and ask her to call when she has time. On the other hand, if she's got no out of her mouth in record time, just move on. If you keep asking or apply pressure, she may give in just to stop you from bugging her. Yes, you did accomplish your goal of getting a date, but you did it the wrong way.